Welcome everybody, this is Bobby O from Bobby's Tech World and today we're going to explain a little bit about the new hyperdrive RLS 17.1 so you've got this far you're able to put this on your on your phone you can, you're able to keep your super user uh, access here you're able to get all your um, uh, safe strap everything is on here now you got it running you've let it idle for a little bit now what so the first thing I would really 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 highly suggest that you do is bring this down go to hyperdrive tweaks okay when you get there purchase the pro please do it it helps it out it helps these guys out okay so it's really nice to have on here and um, so at this point, you have Pro. All right. If you don't, you're gonna have to wait a few seconds. few seconds before it pops up. But um, uh, either way, here you are. Okay. So that's how you get to Hyperdrive Tweaks Pro. You've got you know certain things about your phone, or excuse me, about the tweaks, the uh, general settings, touch widget launcher settings, all kinds of cool stuff here. Status bar, battery colors, pie controls, lock screen. Miscellaneous, exposed, uh, stuff, exposed framework. Um, you got some different settings here about. There's, it's a lot of like, man, it's some detailed stuff on here. It's, it's stuff that I wouldn't even, you know, dip into. Advanced settings, um, reading ahead on your SD card. It's pretty cool stuff. There are a bunch of different tools, you know, to help you out if you've got questions. I mean, a lot of it's here. They're in the forms. You can go to the forms and ask these questions. There's also a Q&A section for these form, uh, for this actual ROM. I would suggest, I believe it's like a q and I would definitely suggest going there first if you want to ask questions. Um, but if you want to go on the main um, form, that's absolutely fine because tons of people do it anyway. It just continuously cycles back into the same questions. Which brings me to this. I'm going to go over a couple of things that people have asked, so hopefully it will eliminate some of those questions. So... I'm going to start with, well, secondly, we, you've got the hyperdrive tweaks. I'm going to also put down a link here to Attaway. All right, Attaway is on the Aroma installer. When you start going through, it's going to ask, would you like to put an ad block or blah, blah, blah. This is what it is. It's not going to be on here. You're not going to see it directly. But I actually clicked on it, but I don't want it now because there's some things that I really need. It just takes too long, like an advertisement before a YouTube video or an advertisement for an iHeartRadio. It just sits there and spins and spins and spins until the advertisement time goes through and then you can watch whatever you want. So I put this on here. I found the link. I put it, uh, I'll, I'll send you all the link and stuff and then the XDA form for this. Okay, so as you can see, it's disabled. All right, so you'll have to go in here and just, it'll probably say enabled. If not, click on it, click disabled. Take, get rid of it if you want it back on her. Ooh, my little guy Phil. Just click it back on there, okay? So it's no big deal. All right. So second, now that you got the Attaway taken care of and you can do your ad stuff, um, people have always talked about this little lock up here. I kind of like it. You push it. Excuse me. It goes turns your phone off real quick without having to always smash your button in, okay? Um, usually, instantly shows up, and people ask, "How do I get rid of it?" If you go back into Hyperdrive Tweaks, you go over here to General. Scroll on down, and uh, you see. Oh, one more over. Excuse me. Go on down here. See, sometimes I just don't go through here that often. All right. Enable lock button. All right. When you initially get in here, it's going to be unchecked, but you're going to see the lock up here. It's okay. Check it, then uncheck it, and it's gone. But I like to leave it there. Okay, because I think it's pretty neat. You just push the button and it goes away. So, okay, battery types. Let's slide on over to battery. You got battery styles. Check this out. Now, this is just touching the basis of explaining this sucker. But here's what you have as far as options. You got all these different battery styles that you can choose from that will put your battery up here. Let me get this a little bit closer. You can kind of get the idea. You know, I got like a little circle with a percentage inside of it. So that's pretty neat. So you can find whichever one, any kind of battery option you want it to look like. It's really cool. So um, now we're going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and bounce around a little bit. People want to have images. Look at my drop down menu. Bam. 
That's hyperdrive image right there. Pretty badass. So, you want to add it? No big deal. Get ES File Explorer, some kind of file explorer that you're accustomed to. Go ahead and click on that sucker. All right, you will need to add a folder called Hyperdrive Papers. One word. Okay, put it all together. In that folder is the image. Once you do that, go ahead and reboot your phone. And then, bam, it's right there. Hyperdrive Papers. No big deal. All right, next. Um, oh, my goodness. My clock disappeared. Okay, where's my clock at? You know, right here, I've got it to the right. Hold on, let me get this. All right. Okay, so, oh, my clock disappeared. That's no big deal. We'll go back to Hyperdrive Tweaks, okay? And you're scrolling over to, um, well, let's go back over here. Okay, clock. Clock style, you know, custom clocks and stuff. And you have, like, a clock orientation, clock alignment, all right? You click on that. You're right. You're center. Your left, okay, and then you go back over to the right. And that's where I like it. You may not, you have to get on it and move it around first to get it back reoriented. It's not a big deal, but I mean, uh, it just helps out because that was a lot of questions people asked about the battery or the clock not being on there. Here's another cool feature, okay? I'm just bouncing around and I'll go back. You have, you'll have so much fun going through all these settings. It's really cool. But now Exposed. Exposed has a lot of stuff involved in it. All right. I mean, it gets into a lot of stuff. But this this part of it, I just want to show you um, your framework. Okay. I install and I update my framework so I get everything running. Okay. Go back. Modules. All right. These are the modules I'm running. Look at this one down here called No Safe Volume Warning. That is awesome because every time you reboot your phone or whatever and you hit volume up because you plugged in your, you know, um, you know, auxiliary jack or something like that will give you that warning saying unsafe for volume, high speed, blah blah blah. So just click OK. And you know, so I installed that. You can find it right here under download. You just scroll on down through all these different options. I mean, the sky's the limit on this sucker pretty much. And when you're done with that, you just um, that's it. It keeps your keeps the warning from popping up. Really neat. I, I enjoy it. Okay, so. What I'm going to do here is, all right, so you have so many different settings on this Tweaks Pro. Go through the forms. If you've got a question about something, you want to try it out, go ahead and just ask them. Ask them what you, you know, how you feel about something, if it's okay, Pi controls. You can do so many different things. You can move the, the, the control all the way around this phone, where you can just slide your thumb over, and then you get a nice, cool Pi control. All right? It's really cool. Um, colors. You can change so many different colors. People have... They ask a question about this. When you hold down the power button, all these different colors. These aren't there. You know, we get the question about that. So what you do is you just go on down here, you know, to your um, toggle power here, power menu. Okay, the icons. You just have to click on that and go to transparent or whatever, and then to come back to it. A lot of these things are just on here, but it hasn't been incorporated into the phone until you click on it and adjust it and bring it back. Okay, just like stuff with um, uh, check boxes, you know, that you'll find around here. You know, just any of these network traffic, any kind of thing that you want. Like, look, over here I got this 16 cent, you know, this um, on demand. All right. So when you go into certain settings here, it shows that it's not even on there. It's an option. You got If you want to get rid of it, you have to check it, then uncheck it. End of story. Now, before I finish, you all have to uh, really understand um, the XDA app. I'm going to put the app down below, okay? Please get on it. Have that app. Get the pro or, or, or pay, get the paid option because it really helps with navigating through a lot of forms and stuff, and it helps you out in downloading and uploading stuff. Well, kind of uploading, but more like downloading. So at this point, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm always available, and um, anything about this ROM, and I will help you out. Thank you all for watching. Take care.